This brings us to the next concept in mathematics, or the next uh, area of mathematics that children usually despise. And here's the thing, is that many people find, or we've done many studies, where we teach multiplication so late in the education system that the brain of the child is past the repetition point. And the multiplication becomes tedious and hard, and we start losing children right there. And if we haven't lost them there, we then lose them in this thing called long division. Many children decide that they don't like math after they have to do long division. And it's a compounding problem because part of the problem there is that they haven't got the multiplication down. So of course the division becomes more difficult. But let's make division and the concept of division using a rectangle and counting and counting things that are same, very simple. Where we can introduce it to even very young children or maybe just four or five years old. Let's tell a story about Boy Scouts. I'm from Hawaii, so we talk about pineapples in our Boy Scout story. Uh, Twelve Boy Scouts go out and pick some pineapple. And they pick 132 pineapples. And at the end of the day, the farmer says to them, well, gee, you picked 132 of these. Why don't you just take them and uh, divide them up equally among yourselves and take them home? So how many, would be the question, does each Boy Scout get? If they have 12 Boy Scouts, or if we have 12 Boy Scouts, they pick 132 pineapple. How many does each Boy Scout get? Here's the simple problem. Now, let's illustrate this using more and some math. And again, we would use a three-period lesson to develop these concepts. This is 100. These are tens. And you know, when we're adding tens, together, one ten, two tens, three tens. Three tens want seven tens to become a hundred, and so forth. Nine tens needs one ten to become a hundred, and the concept is the same as when we were doing addition with single units with tens. Hundreds, tens, and some units. And here we have 132 pineapple. Now, our problem said, and I'll put this problem up here, that we had 12 Boy Scouts. And you could even get blocks out. And for expediency's sake, I'm not going to do that. But you could get blocks out. And now these are just Boy Scouts. And you could put them up here or on your table or wherever you're working and line up 12 Boy Scouts. And you know, this could be a tall Boy Scout, another one, and then we could have some Boy Scouts here that showed up in uniform. And you line them up here. And you say, well, let's see. If I was going to pass out my pineapple to each Boy Scout, could I pass them out one at a time? One, one, oh, that would take forever, wouldn't it? Because we'd have to start breaking up the tens. Oh, I could pass them out 10 at a time. 10, 10, uh, but that would take forever too. So here's what I'm gonna do. If I have my 12 Boy Scouts, you have to use your imagination that they're lined up here waiting for their pineapples. Could I just pass out? my pineapple like this, and I've passed out now. Each one gets 10. Everybody has 10. Now, I'm not done, but can you see that I've passed out 102 tens? Passed out 120. Now, if I'm a little child, I can see that I've passed out 102 tens, and I have some left. Am I done passing out my pineapple? Well, I have, how many here? Oops. I have 12. I have 12 left. All right, so I pass them out like this, and I'm done. I have each Boy Scout receiving 11. You see that right here? This Boy Scout would get 11. This Boy Scout over here would get 11. Everyone would get 11. So if I have a rectangle, which is what I have here, with 132 pineapples in it, or 132, and I pass them out to my 12 Boy Scouts, each one gets 11. And another way to look at this is that if one side of this rectangle is 12, the other side is 11. And it really is that simple. And see, most people don't realize that this symbol right here is shorthand for rectangle. 
Now, if you put this in class or on your paper and you just put 11 there and you don't show your work, you may be penalized for this. If you just knew in your mind that you could put it together like that. So we need to be able to show our work. So what do we do first? Well, first, and this is just the concept of it, we do this. We count the 120. And we see as we're going along this side, and we could use the example of Hiram the ant up on his little stepladder, and he sees that when he goes by here, he's not just counting the edge anymore, he's not just counting the 10 and the 1, he's counting everything that he sees here. He goes by 120. Now, what's left? Well, we look down here and we can see that there was 12 left. I said we hadn't passed out all of our pineapples and there's still 12 left. So we pass out the other 12 pineapples, or these 12 pineapples, and there's none left to pass out. And you can see that this mirrors the notation. In fact, this is where the notation came from. Now, many students will say, well, 12 goes into 13 once, and they don't even put a zero here, because they don't understand the concept that we've actually counted 120, and that it's 10 times 12. And they just use an algorithm with no understanding of what they're doing. So later on, when they get to the quote-unquote higher mathematics, they're confused, and this is hard. And this is just one example. And like I said, because we are pressed for time, one hour to present all these concepts in mathematics. But can you see, we use the rectangle to facilitate counting. Simple as that. And when we counted, we never even got off this hand to solve this problem. How high did we have to count to? We counted one. We counted one of these blue ones and one of these green ones. We never got even close to nine. We only count things that are same. We couldn't call this two because this is a big blue one, this is a green one, and they don't look same at all. So I have to mark them as one of those and one of those. We only count things that are same. And we didn't even use zero or one to solve this problem. So those first three concepts, mathematics is a study of numbers and all we're doing is counting. The highest number we count to is nine. We only count things that are same. And we form a rectangle to facilitate counting. It's all we need to do this division. Now, we're gonna change things, but it's gonna be the same. <laughs> we're gonna change things by changing the base. This is base 10, now we move into base 